Welcome to LabMist.com and the lab video series on Palo Alto Firewall. This is Meta, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Palo Alto videos, you can visit our website under the security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. We have been spending a lot of time looking at the networking side of things on the Palo Firewall. We are now going to switch gear and focus on the security aspects starting in this video where we will look at something as basic as address object and how they can be used in security policy. Then on the second half of the lab we will show you how to use the external dynamic list and tags to give your firewall an ability to ingest dynamic list of IP from external system. Our lab setup is a continuation from our previous videos, we've got our Palo firewall right here that connects our inside corporate internal network to the outside internet. The management interface is configured as an IP of 172.16.10.250. And just FYI, in case you didn't watch our routing videos on the firewall, we've got OSPF running on the inside and BGP running on the outside to learn the internet default route. On switch one, we have our server VLAN VLAN 32. And under that VLAN, we have our Windows 2012 domain controller, DNS, and certificate authority server, as well as that being our jump box to access the rest of our lab. That has the IP address of 162.16.32.40. We also have a user test VLAN, VLAN 64, and we have our Windows 10 test one test machine that we are going to be using to test applications. We have DHCP IP on the subnet 162.16.64.0.24. On the outside of the firewall, we have a test application server. Under that server, we have a few IP addresses running different websites, three of them to be exact, 10.12, 10.13, and 10.14. Okay, with 10.12, have the DNS name of external.labmins.com. The server has a couple ports are open. One is being RDP, TCP 3389, and HTTP, HTTPS, TCP 8443 that we can use to test. These are the list of the security policies that we intend to create in this lab, and we're going to go through that in a little bit and create them one by one. So I'm not going to go through that right now, but we're going to keep coming back and refer to this list. All right. The first thing we are going to talk about here is object. So objects are components used as traffic matching conditions in firewall policy. And you might have seen the tab called object already, and we went through that back in the Web GUI walkthrough video on the firewall, which is this guy right here. I think the concept of object is pretty much universal and widely adopted by many vendors. Object allows you to modularize your policy config and make configuration more efficient when you create objects that can be shared and reuse. And the Palo firewall does heavily use objects and in fact has an entire menu as you can see right here dedicated for different type of objects. As you can see under this object menu tabs are so much to cover. So we are going to start by looking at some basic objects in this video and leaves the other when we get to the specific features that requires our objects in the future labs. And we're going to start with the address object. And this is probably the most basic object and probably most commonly used as well contain the IP addresses and FQDN. So let's go to the addresses. We created the test object, I believe, in one of the videos earlier. So let me go ahead and delete that for now, because we don't need that anymore, because we are about to create our own objects. Let's go ahead and see what you can do with the address object. Go ahead, click Add. Let's say that we want to create an object for our VLAN 32 with the subnet 320 slash 24. Then we can call it LM, assuming our size is a headquarter, LMHQ. That is a VLAN 32. You can have spaces, dash, of those characters in there, no problem. Put in descriptions if you like, and under, the, under type, the four options that you have include IP net mask, IP range, IP wildcard mask, and FQDN. For now, we're just going to use the net mask for our VLAN 32. 1C216, 32, 0, slash 24. 